guys, what's up? It's Simply Sasha 404 here, and I'm here with a brand new video for you guys. So today I'm going to be doing a drugstore kind of products that I recommend video, but this is not going to be the only one. I'm going to be starting a drugstore series, and I'm just going to divide it into, I divided it into about three to four categories. So today is going to be face, and these are just the products I use and that I use on my face that I think are a drugstore um, appropriate and like the price range and um, that I really love and recommend to you guys. Okay, so the first product I'm going to tell you guys about is the Simple Foaming Cleanser, and it just looks like this, and this is an amazing face wash. I've been using this for about three weeks now, and I am over, I'm like head over heels for this thing. It's so moisturizing. It feels so good when you're like rubbing it on your skin. It really lathers up. I love it. I just like foaming products, so I think they're pretty cool. But this stuff is amazing. This is going to be my favorite. Um, I'm going to do a skin care routine, so I'll go into more depth, like what's in it and why it's good for your skin. But I do recommend this if you have sensitive skin because it doesn't have any harsh chemicals in it. It's mostly natural, and I really, really love this. The next one is an exfoliator, and it's from the same brand. It's the Simple Sensitive Skin Smoothing Facial Scrub, and it just looks like this. And I've also been using this a ton. I'll... Sh um, I'll also, this does last quite a bit. I've used this almost, I use this I guess like two uh, to three times a week because um, the beads in it, the um, exfoliating beads in it are very tiny and they're not harsh. So I can use this more than twice. I use it twice a week and then a third week and third day just in case I feel like I need to exfoliate it a little bit more. So yeah. I really, really enjoy using this. Okay, the next one I want to talk to you guys about is um, wipes. Now, I've been using these for about a month, and it's a couple weeks now. Um, these are the Maybelline Clean Express Makeup Remover Wipes, and they just come in this pink um, packaging. And I really, really like these. I've been, I was using Pond. First, I was using Neutrogena, but I think it was starting to break me out. It was a little too harsh for my skin. And then I started using Pons, which I really, really liked. But then I wanted to try something new. But So I started to use this because I saw it recommended in somebody's video. I don't remember whose. But I really, really like these. I really want to try and get the Simple Wipes, but I really like these. And I do recommend these if you are looking for a nice, gentle, um, moisture, like really wet um, wipe. It's really, really nice, and I recommend so yeah I really want to try the um, they have like a lotion a makeup remover lotion I really want to try it so if you guys have that let me know down below if you like it or not but yeah I really like these and the next two things are foundation now drugstore foundations for my skin tone is super hard to find um, not super hard but it's it can be a pain because you can't try it out so you might get one that you may think is your color but it's really not so the first one is the Cover Girl Nature Lux Foundation. This foundation is finished. I think this is finished. But it's amazing. It just looks like this. Here's the packaging right here. I love this. It's really nice. It goes on smooth. It feels really light, but it can be buildable coverage. But um, I love this. And then the next one is a new one. It's the Cover Girl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Collection. Now, I know there's, I think there's like a queen collection, which I think it caters more to the dark, like more darker skin gals like myself, but this is just the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1. I don't know if this is part of the queen one. You should find that out. But um, it just looks like this. I think this is the darkest one that they have, but it fits my skin color and I love it. I'm wearing it today. It's like so nice. It just, it's really, really nice foundation and it has a primer built in. Um, it also has an SPF of 20, which is awesome, and I just love it. It just, it really has, it does last for a long time, and it just looks really natural and smooth, so I really recommend this one, especially for, like, the spring and summer coming up. I feel like this will last all day, and it has SPF, so why not? Now, another one is not per, like, this one is, the last one is blush. I don't have any blush, um... I don't have any blush drugstore products. I don't know why. I just, because I have 
four, like, I have, like, four or five um, high-end blushes, and that's all I need. But I did want to recommend a company, which I believe is kind of like drugstore, but you can't get it in a drugstore. But they have drugstore prices. So that is the BH Dual Blush Palette, and I love the BH brand all their stuff is so affordable and they always have awesome like flash deals that last like three to five days and i think oh, bh is awesome so this is a dual palette and it just has your basic blushes that you probably need it has your pinks it has your bronze and your neutrals and i honestly love this palette um i use it all the time and also another one that comes with eyeshadows and blushes but i really like it and i really recommend it i'll have the bh cosmetics um website down below i do not get paid or there's no like affiliation um with this website with me i don't get paid or they don't send me product trust me but i mean if they did i would love it but they don't i just really love this brand and i recommend it to you guys so that is everything drugstore that i tried um I didn't I don't have a I haven't found a moisturizer that I like from the drugstore I might try a simple moisturizer once my Mac one is finished so if you guys have a recommended moisturizer that's not won't break me out um nothing Neutrogena because I break out with their stuff but um if you guys have a great sensitive moisturizer let me know down below also I have not found a great primer if you guys have a recommendation for a great drugstore primer I'm like fed up I'm like head over heels over my Smashbox photo primer I don't think I'll ever not use it, but it's running out, and I like the gel consistency that it is, so if there's like a drugstore foundation out there like that, then I'll try to give it a go. On Saturday, I would have another series up, and I'm excited. It's just going to be like a chat kind of thing, so look out for that, and yeah, next week or the week after, whenever the next series comes up, it'll be about my favorite eye stuff so if you're excited to see that stay tuned to my channel make sure you subscribe and check out my other links i have a music channel and i have instagram and twitter so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye